Hi guys, uh, second video today. I think I owe it to you. I've, I've, I've been feeling really shitty the last, well, especially shitty the last couple months and it's kind of getting, I think worse and worse. So that's why my production has, has grinded down so much. Anyway, I'm feeling up for it right now. So why not click off a few, uh, few debts to you. Uh, just a few minutes ago, I did the review of the book on Kafka. And now I want to talk about a novella by um, Willa Cather, Alexander's Bridge. So I listened to this on Audible and it's only, um, and you can get it there for free if you have a subscription to Audible. They have some free books there and I saw that one was there for free and it's only, I don't know, three hours long. So sometimes it's nice to just, you know, have a, have a quick read. Um, I liked it and Cather is is a is an author that I'm building up uh, uh, on um, I read her summer that was her book right yeah and um, and now Alexander's Bridge and I want to read O Pioneers and my Antonia pretty soon so as I said before I think when I was reviewing summer I said I like I like American writers of the turn of the century um, and I, I don't want city writers. I like writers who, um, who are set in a, in a different environment. So sometimes, uh, Cather like will, will write from, from Nebraska or wherever. One thing, that's one thing about this book. It's not like, it's, it's sort of set following this Alexander and he's kind of a, a jet setter of the time. So he shows up in New York. He shows up in Quebec, he shows up in London and somewhere else, some smaller town. And he keeps bouncing between the, the places as he, he's a famous bridge builder and uh, he, he's building bridges all over the place. Um, so basically the story is about, um, I suppose like some, some people have said his midlife crisis or whatever. Um, and 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 in that sense the titular bridge alexander's bridge becomes like a metaphor for his transition in life from or at least i mean crossing over from one place to another and without spoiling the the book i mean it's quick it's a quick read and i i think you should read it if, if that's your if you think you should uh i i liked it again um and i kind of had to laugh i was talking to my uh, my daughter in grade 12 and we were talking about that this would be a good book for in English classes because um, English teachers love uh, symbolism this is kind of like another uh, Great Gatsby or something in that way the symbolism is so um, blatant and easily comprehended by younger readers um, and it's thoughtful and it's to the point and, and all that uh, recently, I, I put out uh, on Twitter my my thoughts about stages of life and how, um, like I described them in five different. I'll put them on I'll put them on this video here so you can think about what I'm talking about. And this is something I've been long thinking about, and, and I, it's reflected in my own writing. But I also see see that it should have a place in in literature. And I think Alexander's Bridge is really uh, an interesting confirmation of, of my theory about the stages of life. And here we have a man trying to cr cross over from uh, the stage, which I've called the th in, the, in the 30s, uh, I've called the stage of um, denial onto this stage in the 40s of, 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 of resignation. Okay, so, you know, can the man move from denial to resignation um, in, in this? And, and uh, it's certainly an interesting, interesting thought. You don't have to accept my view of things or whatever, but uh, it's just something that I've been thinking a lot about and will continue to think about. Um, and I'll just, again, perhaps you'll, you'll get something out of that yourself. You might hate my divisions I don't know but anyway um, 
it's a sad story. It's um, made me sad. And um, why? Because basically it's a story about uh, a man who has an affair with an old love. So he's married and he's, um, again, he's very well established, famous and all that wealthy. And he loves his wife and his wife is a good woman. She's not, she's not um, detailed too much, but she, she has positive, positive traits. It's not like she's, he's escaping from a horrible wife or anything. And he reconnects with an old love in, in London. And, uh, I think later in Ireland. And, um, it's, it's sad because, you know, here we have three decent human beings. Okay. And, uh, it's, there's no black or white kind of thing. And in the end, um, well, I won't say what happens in the end, but in the end, I mean, it's sad. Okay. Um, and, uh, if you're sad, don't read it. Um, I'd say, but anyway, uh, I liked it. I recommend it. It's a novella. How hard is it to read? <laughs> and, uh, well, that's all I'll say for now. Have a great day, guys. I really appreciate you spending the time listening to these videos, uh, and take care.